Hello, hello everybody. Today we're doing this three and three quarter inch stone. I have a video down below if you want to learn how to make your own. And we're going to be putting some guidelines and base coating it and doing a simple basic pattern, mostly in white. And then we're going to pretty it up with a little bit of aqua. Okay, so let's get started. I have the stone that was previously painted and I cleaned it off, sanded it down and everything. And now I'm giving it a plain base coat of black. Gathered up a few tools. You can see I don't use very many. And um, we're gonna get, get to putting in some guidelines. So the first guideline I'm putting on is a half of an inch and then set the compass to one inch, one and a quarter, then one and a half, and then two. Now with a four millimeter, um, it's actually a flat back crochet hook. I am putting a center dot in the white acrylic. And then I have a small tool and I've placed four dots at the um, four edges, the 12, six, three, and nine. Then I divided that in half, gave me eight. And then again in half, and now I have 16 tiny little dots. Now in between every of other of those sets of uh, dots there, I've placed a medium sized dot and brought that down to eight. And now I'm back bringing it back up to 16 by putting that little dot in between those. So basically I have three rows that look like two. <laughs> now on the first, I'm gonna call this a collar. Okay, this is a collar. On the first go round, I am using that little uh, tool and just placing white acrylic dots all the way around. Now I'm a big fan of this every other pattern so I'm putting a dot, skipping a space, putting a dot, skipping a space all the way around. And uh, true to my form I didn't pay attention and know what I was doing and I have a little problem here. My pattern is off. So what I'm going to do, because my space is so big here and my dots are so tiny, I'm just gonna place a dot right there in the center. And I'm gonna tell you what, that it's going to be really hard to find later on. Now, with a little bit larger tool, this is actually a Dollar Tree tool that I picked up. Um, I, I can't tell you the size, but anything that'll fit in between those dots comfortably. And that's going to be my general rule. So whenever I tell you to place a dot in between like that, whatever will fit for you is what you should use. Okay, so now we have four rows there. Now with a four millimeter tool again, I'm going around. Right about the, oh, I guess that's the one and a half inch mark. And I've set 28 dots. So I wanted to make sure that I had an even amount here. The count doesn't matter, just as long as it's an even number. And with a small tool, I'm starting at the bottom of one dot, and then I'm walking dots up and over to the next dot. Now that dot on the top there was a little bit too small for me, so I just went around and just kind of plumped it up a little bit. And now a small dot above, just to finish off that collar, and it's actually ending up right about the one and a quarter inch mark. And now you can see I've put eight little dots at the end of that up at the top there. I kind of bounce around a little bit because I don't know what I'm going to do before I do it. <laughs> Case in point, with my little tool, I'm putting some swishes here. I'm doing a swish on the right side of that element. And then on the other, the next dot over, I'm bringing another swoosh into the left. Now, as I'm doing these, I'm making them a little bit short. I kind of liked the, the way they looked at this point, but later on, that's not going to fit me. So um, if you're doing it, just make these longer, bring them down to the bottom of the, um, the big circle, and because uh, we're going to connect them. Up at the top again, I put eight more dots, and that is a wooden skewer that I get from the Dollar Tree and I uh, just used the back of that. I measured it one time and it came out to be like, I think it was something like a two millimeter, but whatever fits in there. Now on every other element at the top, I'm walking three dots down on uh, the left side 
and that's followed by a swoosh alongside those dots and then I'm also going to bring a swoosh in coming the opposite direction and uh, meeting towards the center. And now I'm putting a, a matching double row of uh, walking of the dots in the middle. That first dot of the original three just needs to be plumped up a little bit. It was kind of lost. Okay, time to add a little bit of color. I'm using the Folk Art Color Shift. It's an aqua, aqua flash. Obviously, you don't need to use any kind of flash paint or whatever. It's just that was the color I wanted to use, and that's what I grabbed. And I'm going to kind of continue that same pattern with the swoosh on the inside. Notice how the paint strings here. This is common with these metallic and specialty paints. So you want to take a little care here because this can really make a mess and um, be hard to clean up. So on those white, I'm using a, a just a plain black, the same as I used on the base. And I'm doing off-center top dots facing inward. And I'm making that fairly large on purpose. And I'm doing the second, the same thing on that medium sized dot on the first collar and also on the little tiny ones. These are a little bit tricky. So, so take your time and make sure you don't get any of that black paint on the white above or on either side. Now here I'm trying to elongate these swishes that uh, I should have made long in the first place, but I didn't know what I was going to do. So this is what this is what I wanted you to do. Bring them, bring them down. And with the aqua flash, I want to connect them. So you can see that I have a fairly good sized tool here, and I want you to be again take a, take note of these this particular metallic uh, paint how it strings. So basically what I'm saying is just be careful if you're using this kind of paint. Or you're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> so I did some off-center top dots on the black on the top and on that first collar. And getting back to the, uh, the last section that we're doing down here, I'm creating what's going to be like a little garland. And I'm adding aqua and continuing the dots from the top over and between the two swishes. You can see it's going up and down and over. And then I'm putting one underneath to connect that big blue aqua dot to the next. These four elements that I'm working on here, they kind of get a little out of hand. I probably wouldn't make them as long as I did, but uh, all in all, I'm not too upset with it. But I had a lot of negative space there, and I do like negative space. However, it was just too much for me. So I decided to just put some of these little wispy characters in here. There's nothing special about the way that they're going or the size of them. I've done some in the aqua, I've done some with white. And I've also done some with just hologram. When I paint with white paint, I usually, I can say 99% of the time, will do my base painting with just a white acrylic. I almost always come back and add the pearl white on top of my white. If I did just the pearl, the dark color underneath would come up and um, show through. So I put the white acrylic first and then I put the pearl. And so the pearl is nice and opaque. You won't see that on camera because I do have to um, edit out a lot of film. But I have gone back and um, put the white pearl on, I would say, just about all of the white. So now I'm getting into my favorite part, which is using the hologram. Hologram is a glitter paint, comes in many different colors, and hologram is one of them. So this one goes on kind of milky and dries clear, just leaving a little bit of shimmer and glimmer behind. Now I like to use it 
um, on my smaller dots and sometimes randomly just in uh, blank places like on the black I have some of the little swishy things there in the hologram and it's just a matter of taste so you can just put it wherever you'd like so now I'm going to continue with the garland underneath as I was uh, doing my design I started to see this pretty pattern down the bottom if I continued with it I grabbed the aqua flash and I started doing like a reverse of what I had done with the white so from the top I, I'm going down and over to the over to the right now continuing around that last that bottom collar there I'm adding the white pearl to the larger dots I'm going to do that all the way around and you can see that I've already done the uh, the white garland and I've done the uh, swishes on there so um and watch out for those strings they're they're brutal <laughs> Now with my compass resting on the table and a white chalk pencil, I am just dragging a line along the very edge of my stone. It's going to be just below the two inch mark. So this row of dots I'm putting is sort of in between. It's a, we need to have an even number here. So you want to count them out. If you don't come up with an even number, it's not the end of the world, but my pattern just uh, used an even number. Okay, so now with this pewter metallic paint, I am drawing, it's going to be like a ribbon, like a multicolored ribbon around the edge. And I'm going right underneath the, uh, the line that we drew when I had my compass rested on the table. And you can see it's not very even and a little messy. Don't worry, we've, we've got little tricks up our sleeves to fix that. I'm putting little pewter dots just at the top of and in between each of the white dots of that section. It's actually on the two inch marker. And here you're getting a good view of just how uneven my, my first ribbon is. Here I'm adding the pearl on top of my um, center top dot. And I got a little over, I, I went a little over the edge and you can see that I could have just taken a q-tip and cleaned the whole thing off and done it again except but my black paint was being a little cantankerous and it was smearing so i just decided to clean it up with a with a little toothpick and now i have that pewter the same pewter i was using down below and i thought this would actually show up a little bit better however it kind of faded into the background but all in all it's not too bad all right so now I have the pearl white again and I'm going along the base of that pewter and putting another ribbon. It's going to be just about the same size as the pewter one. Um, doesn't have to be. You can make it as big or as, as wide or as thin as you'd like. And this is a long process, at least for me it is. Don't get discouraged if it takes you a long time. It takes me a long time but I just try to get it as even as possible then to test us just a little more add another ribbon of aqua below the white and um, maybe not quite as wide as the white but that's up to you now with the aqua and a little tool we're going to take care of some of that uh, messy pewter ribbon by putting a little dot right and at the top of the pewter and in between the white it really does help disguise any unevenness. Yeah, unevenness. Is that even a word? I'm <laughs> not sure. <laughs> anyway, um, I've come back with the teal and I'm putting just a very faint little line in between the pewter and the white. The unevenness, I'm going to use it again, there uh, is, is broken up by that teal. It just kind of gives it a smooth a little transition. And with the pewter again, I'm putting a dot at the bottom of the teal, and that's going to help, guess what, disguise the unevenness there. And a little row of pearl in between there takes care of the rest of that. So it's just a nice little finish to the end down the bottom there. Actually, I'm not finished. I have another thing to do, but here you can see the, uh, the pretty little um, ribbon. Now I'm just following the same idea as above there with the 
white and the black off center top dot facing upwards. Here I chose to go every other one and that's why I needed the even numbers. You can do them all if you don't, if you want. Okay, now I'm putting hologram. I'm, this is one of the times where I go ahead and use the hologram on the bigger dots, so I don't usually, but this is just really, oh, it's just so pretty. I think you're gonna see it in a bit, how pretty it is. Anyway, I went ahead and I added hologram to a few other things. Here I'm adding it to some of the little pewter dots. I'm adding it to the pewter down the bottom. And any place else that you think needs just to be highlighted a little bit, you know, um, it needs a little attention. And that pewter, I think, needed a little attention. So now on those black off center top dots, I'm putting, it's a black glitter paint. Um, the only reason why I use it is because I, I happened to spot it in my stash. I've had it for years and years and never used it before really doesn't matter just go right ahead and use the uh, plain hologram if you'd like no one's going to know the difference trust me so then i put little teal dots in between and now i'm finishing off with a hologram on the white pearl and um, there we go we have one completed stone and all it took was just a couple of tools, a couple of colors of paint, and a little time. So you know what I'm going to say now. If you like this and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I have another video. So thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Take care, and until next time, bye-bye.